A very good morning to everybody. My name is Pooja Devedi. Welcome to my class. Today is a good day to start with the UPSC preparation. I know you all have been preparing for this examination since a long period of time. Every third day it feels like, what am I doing? Will I succeed? Should I really not go out with my friends anymore? Should I completely let go of Instagram, Twitter and what not? All these social media handles. It takes a lot of courage actually to prepare for this examination in the very first place. There is so much to soak up. There is so much to absorb. Specifically, the juggle between the current affairs and the UPSC static portion. Whenever we are preparing for the static portion, there can be certain developments which elude us. And one such development is this particular development that took place very recently. And it is very important for your examination. But it's important to know where you will get the entire information. This is study IQIS English. And you will get all the important information for this examination without any extra charges, of course. YouTube is free for you. And it is a great platform for us to interact with you. One such development is for the Gaganyan mission. The Gaganyan mission, which will be a human mission, we will send three astronauts from India, which will be or who will be addressed as Vyomanauts. And we may send them as early as next year. And this recent development is regarding the first flight, first test flight of Gaganyan mission that is set to take place on 21st of October. So without any further delay, let's start with this particular class. Do not worry about making notes because I provide the notes through my telegram channel. This goes by the name of Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries regarding this examination, feel free to talk to me on my Instagram. So the news is Gaganyan's first test flight is scheduled for October 21st. And this is the design of Gaganyan. It has been developed by ISRO. It's a beautiful model and this orbiter model, that means the one which will orbit the Earth. In the lower Earth orbit, in the low Earth orbit, it will comprise of the crew module where the Vyomanauts or Indian astronauts will be placed. And then we have the service module. So the orbital module will have crew module and service module. This will have pressurized Earth-like atmospheric conditions. And here only it will house the three very important IAF officers, Indian Air Force officers or pilots we can call them and this is the service module which will provide service to the crew module and one another very important person not person but person looking like object will also go with them this will be a Vyoma Mitra a female human like robot let's move ahead and talk about this so if I talk about the genesis of this project Gaganyan Gaganyan is India's and ISRO's very ambitious project. We want to send humans, of course, Indians, to the low Earth orbit. This will be India's first space flight, which will comprise of humans. And this project was first approved by the Prime Minister in 2018. Of course, it was from the pedestal of the Red Fort, August 15. It will send three member crew to space for at least three days now. Earlier it was seven days. And also the year was 2022. But now it has changed to three humans. And the year could be 2024 or 2025. This was because of the delay that was caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. ISRO hopes to deploy its biggest rocket GSLV Mark III for this project. Now this has been of course renamed as LVM-3 and LVM-3 which will be more powerful when it comes to taking such space flights it has been made human related so it it is now human or HLVM-3. LVM-3 was the one which took Chandrayaan to its destination Chandrayaan 3 to its destination so remember that do not get confused. Now also it would be one of the cheapest manned space flights in the world costing not more than 10,000 crore rupees. After USA, Russia, China, we will be the fourth country to launch humans into the space. Also, 
the the astronauts from india who will go into the space they will be considered as vyomanauts or vyom is of course space in in sanskrit it means space so that is why vyom not moving on this is the low earth orbit where the orbiter module will stay remember that remember specifically low earth orbit the gaganyaan test vehicle development flight that is going to be conducted on 21st of october it will be the first among the two sets of trial flights that means we will have two sets of it this will be an abort mission where the crew module that i have shown you it will be separated from the rocket and it will be done at an altitude of 11 kilometers it will fly for a few kilometers and then descend into water specifically touch down at the bay of bengal and after that indian navy's dedicated force will recover it all right also this will show us the crew escape system in case of any emergency how the crew shall escape because we have to send the vyomanauts and bring them back safely to the earth moving on there will be a test flight next year to carry vyomamitra and i have a question for you with respect to vyomamitra consider the following interact with the environment control life support system perform life support operations respond to the queries by astronauts how many of the above can be performed by vyomamitra so you have to tell me about it in the comment segment P2I batches have been launched from the 10th of October and if you haven't taken admission in any of the batches for your UPSC examination 24 25 26 and thereafter you can come and join us of course these batches are different silver batch is for 18 months validity gold 30 and platinum is 42 if you are interested please take admission with the help of the code PD life Silver cost 23,999, gold 26,999 and platinum is 29,999. Whosoever wants to prepare for the UPSC examination and wants a one-stop solution, we not only provide you GS but also CSAT, essay, ethics, language papers, even a study IQ campus program is there. That means if you will be able to qualify the designated UPSC prelims, you will be called to the campus and we will meet you there to prepare you for the mains examination free of any extra charges and the interviews will also be taken care of by us only. Now if I talk about the ambitious Gaganyaan mission, what does it want to achieve? First of all technology demonstration. By the correct launching and landing of the Chandrayaan 3, we have already shown the world ISRO is capable of doing something that was never done before, soft landing that too on the south pole of the moon. Of course, this will be a step in the correct direction when I am talking about human related space flights. Not it will boost India's reputation as a great space faring nation, but other than this, it will always it will also give boost to space tourism industry. Now we know that many private sector industries such as SpaceX, Elon Musk's SpaceX is also conducting these kind of missions to carry humans into space for tourism. Similarly, India can also become a hub to carry foreign and Indian tourists to the space missions. Other than this, it will increase employment opportunities and investment in India in space missions. It will, of course, this particular mission will show human-related launch vehicles, human-rated launch vehicles for carrying crew safety to space, if we are bringing back this module, we are also showing that, of course, we have invested so much. We are not letting go of our crew module. We will reuse it. Then life support system to provide an Earth-like environment to the crew in space, specifically in the crew module, which will be pressurized. Crew emergency escape provision and evolving crew management aspects for training, recovery, as well as rehabilitation. Now, unpressurized version, this particular test flight right now will have this model which will be unpressurized version of the crew module and it will be having a complete set of parachutes and has recovery aids, actuation system and even pyros. The avionic system and the crew module are in dual redundant mode that means if one mode fails other can be relied upon and the touchdown will be in the Bay of Bengal. It will be recovered by the Indian Navy using a dedicated vessel and a diving team. So this is like a mock drill. Now this will of course be done with the help of human related or human rated LVM3 
This will be, of course, LVM3 that was earlier known as GSLV Mark III. It is now known as LVM3. It will have a crew escape system powered by solid motors. In case of any emergency, either at the launch pad or during ascent, the escape system can take the crew module to a safe distance. The orbital module of the mission, as I have already told you, it will comprise you comprise of crew module and a service module. Crew module will be pressurized, service will be unpressurized, and this will provide thermal propulsion, power, avionic system, and deployment mechanism. These all will be a composition of the second module, that is the service module. Now, where have been the astronauts trained? The astronauts were selected through a rigorous process, and these are IAF pilots. The four candidates were shortlisted in this module, uh, sorry, in this particular manner. And the, they were actually trained at astronaut training facility in Bengaluru. They received lectures from the faculty of both ISRO and the Indian Institute of Science faculty. They went through at least 70 physical training sessions. They also were a part of different curriculum models such as yoga, exercise and they were sent to Russia in 2020. They completed generic space flight training at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. When they returned to India in 2021, they have been undergoing training and this comprises of theoretical courses like schools such as in engineering disciplines and this engineering discipline will comprise of the theories on space flight, propulsion, aerodynamics, courses on launch vehicles and spacecraft. Also, we have aeromedical training and fitness and recovery and survival training because when they will touch down on earth, the environment will change a lot. And similarly, we have to rehabilitate them as well. Now, this is the second prelims question and the last one. With respect to Gaganyaan, consider the following statements. It will take three astronauts to the middle earth orbit for three days. The orbital module will comprise of crew module and service module, which of the statements given above is or are correct. Okay, so these are the given options. Make sure you answer them correctly. Thank you so much for watching.